Everyone has their go-to dishes and signature recipes that they prepare for family parties and big functions. These dishes vary vastly depending on where you live in the United States. In 2018, Google released statistics on the most searched for recipes in every state over the past year. Recipe searches for gumbo in Louisiana or crab dip in Maryland don't seem out of the ordinary, but you might be surprised that Nevadans are cooking chicken adobo and people in Idaho have a craving for crepes. Keep reading to see the most popular dishes in every state. Texas, tortilla soup as it sits on the southern border of the country, it's not surprising that Texas has a notable Mexican influence, especially on its food, Tex-Mex, anyone, so it makes sense that Texans have been googling recipes for tortilla soup. The time of year is irrelevant for comfort food and tortilla soup is no exception. There are different variations of the recipe but at the heart of it is a tangy broth of chilies, tomatoes and other spices, with tender chicken and fresh tortilla strips. No matter what recipe you find, your Latina grandma still probably makes it better than anyone else. Indiana, Buckeye Hoosiers, as Indiana residents are unofficially called, have a bit of a sweet tooth for Buckeyes. Buckeye candy is essentially a peanut butter fudge ball covered in chocolate. One of the simplest ways to make it is to combine confectioner's sugar, peanut butter, butter, vanilla, and a pinch of salt until smooth. After scooping the mixture into bite-sized balls and refrigerating them, you dip them in chocolate and stick a toothpick in them for easy handling. The candy is so named for its resemblance to the nut of the Buckeye tree, which is actually the state tree of neighboring Ohio. Wyoming, banana bread it might be safe to say that the main thing that brings anyone to Wyoming are the great national parks that inhabit it but sadly it's not enough to keep people there, which is probably why Wyoming has the smallest U.S. Population. Still. A popular Google search among Wyoming's handful of residents is banana bread. Most banana bread recipes are more or less the same and quite simple. You can also usually add your own twist with walnuts or chocolate chips. It's perfect for when your bunch of bananas grew too ripe before you had a chance to eat them all. You'll never guess which of Wyoming's neighbors also has a hankering for bread. And it's not banana either. Louisiana, gumbo The number one searched recipe in Louisiana is gumbo, which honestly is no surprise to anyone since it's the official state cuisine. Gumbo is a delectable stew with that varies depending on who makes it and where you get it. Regardless of whether it's Creole, Cajun, or New Orleans style, most gumbos typically start out the same. The strong, roux-based stock is cooked with shellfish or meat and Louisiana's holy trinity, celery, bell peppers, and onions. The stew is usually thickened with okra or fly powder and when ready to eat, is traditionally served over rice. North Carolina, snow cream North Carolina does see snow fall every year, but primarily in the mountainous regions. Regardless, that's a good enough explanation as to why snow cream recipes are among the most searched for North Carolina folk. Most recipes do call for actual snow, but shaved ice is a good alternative for those who live somewhere where snow is just not an option. The recipe for this ice cream alternative is simple and delicious, just mix some freshly fallen snow with condensed milk and a hint of vanilla. For those worried about pollution in the snow, shaved ice is the safe alternative. Utah, zucchini bread while Wyoming noshes on banana bread, its southwestern neighbor Utah has a different bread in mind. Zucchini bread is the most googled recipe in Utah and it's actually just as simple as banana bread. Zucchini bread uses grated zucchini. This vegetable makes for a bread that is usually not too sweet but it's not plain tasting either. But for those who do have a sweet tooth, you could make your zucchini bread the way they like to do it in Utah, by adding plenty of chocolate chips. 
Zucchini bread makes for the perfect fuel while hiking in Utah's beautiful national parks. Coming up, see what surprising chicken dish people in Nevada are learning how to cook. Ohio, sausage gravy folks in the Midwest must be hankering for some biscuits and gravy because the most googled recipe in Ohio is for sausage gravy. This might seem a bit odd considering that it's widely thought of as a southern dish, but it only goes to show that Ohioans have good taste in breakfast food. To make sausage gravy, one starts out by cooking loose pork sausage and combining the remaining fat with flour to create a roux. Depending on the recipe, milk and seasonings are then added to create a thick gravy. All you need now are some fresh, fluffy biscuits. Connecticut quiche quiche recipes have been the most common Google search for Connecticut folks. The versatile pastry hails from France and is primarily made of eggs. Eggs, milk or cream, cheese and a selection of meats and veggies are cooked in a pastry crust for a delightful savory treat that can be enjoyed any time of the day. Though quiche is widely considered French cuisine, early iterations of the dish that date as early as the 13th century have been traced to Italy and England. Wherever it came from, quiche today is often found at parties or served at breakfast. Nevada, chicken adobo There's not much to Nevada other than Las Vegas and Carson City. There's not much else to the state other than desert and mountains. So it's a wonder why the most googled recipe in Nevada is chicken adobo, which is probably the most random dish on this list. Chicken adobo is a Filipino dish and, in fact, the national dish of the Philippines. Also not to be confused with adobo spices, used frequently in Latin American cooking. Filipino chicken adobo is chicken cooked in its own marinade of vinegar, soy sauce, garlic, and seasoned with bay leaves and pepper. In South Carolina, they have a whole cook-off dedicated to their specialty dish. Wisconsin, meatloaf living in a state known for its dairy, most Wisconsinites probably get plenty of cheese in their diets already. So it makes sense that their most googled recipe has little to do with cheese. In fact, the most googled recipe in Wisconsin is meatloaf. Meatloaf is a traditional dish and America's dairy land is one of the most traditional states out there, so the two go hand in hand. On a very basic level, a meatloaf involves baking or smoking a loaf of ground beef. Of course, folks in Wisconsin would agree that adding parmesan and cheddar wouldn't hurt. Florida, ceviche more than half of Florida is surrounded by water. You have the Gulf of Mexico to the west, the Atlantic Ocean to the east, and the Straits of Florida down south. What better to do with all those fresh catches than to make ceviche? Ceviche is apparently the most searched recipe among Floridians, a popular dish along the Pacific coasts of Latin America. There are tons of variations. At its core, ceviche is made from raw fish or other seafood that is cured in fresh citrus juice, then seasoned to taste. It's best consumed fresh to avoid food poisoning. South Carolina, chicken bog down in South Carolina, the most googled recipe is one for chicken bog. If you've never heard of it, that's because it's very much a South Carolina thing, and even then a lot of South Carolinians haven't heard of it. Chin bog is a stew-like dish comprised of chicken, sausage, and rice. Many believe that it is named so either because of how wet the dish is, or because of the bogginess of the area from which it originates. The dish is most popular in Horry County, home of Myrtle Beach and Loris, where there is an annual chicken bog cook-off. We bet you can't guess what kind of soup they're cooking up in Kentucky. New Jersey, flounder in New Jersey. People have been looking up the best flounder recipes. Summer flounder is a state favorite, as this flatfish species is found in abundance along the Atlantic coast, especially from North Carolina to Massachusetts. New Jersey's affinity for this fish is a bit surprising to outsiders, 
whose ideas of New Jersey are usually less than pleasant thanks to reality television, summer flounder dishes are usually baked. A breading of panko and parmesan is a flavorful way to consume this dish, but a simple seasoning of lemon pepper will also do the trick. California, quinoa with a handful of major U.S. cities, California is home to some stellar culinary scenes. But for all the delicious foods in the Golden State, many Californians only concern themselves with health food. That's probably why the most searched recipe among them is for quinoa. Quinoa is one of the trendiest health foods around and is likely here to stay, given that it's a superfood with immense health benefits. The seed of the plant is prepared and eaten like most grains. It's high in fiber, protein, contains essential amino acids, and is gluten-free, which may be the main reason Californians love it so much. Kentucky Vegetable Soup Kentucky is a southern state known for its bourbon, horse racing, and that ubiquitous fried chicken chain. So it's surprising that the most sought-after online recipe among Kentucky folks is something ho-hum like vegetable soup. But who wouldn't love such a versatile and nutritious dish like vegetable soup? Almost any vegetable can go into the mix, making each batch unique in its own way. In Kentucky, however, the secret to an awesome vegetable soup is actually a little bit of beef. Of course, vegetable purists can leave this special ingredient out but a bit of beef would make the soup all the more tasty. Out in Michigan, people are still learning how to cook a classic American comfort food. But not the kind you'd expect. Idaho, crepes when people think of Idaho, they usually think of its potatoes. After all, the state provides about one-third of the entire nation's potato supply. But one can only assume that Idahoans must be a little tired of all those potatoes, which is why they frequently search for recipes for crepes. Crepes are considered to be very thin pancakes. Hailing from France, most people think of crepes as a dessert. But in their country of origin there are both sweet and savory versions. With flour, eggs, sugar, milk, and butter, crepes are pretty simple to make and can be dressed up practically any way you want. Georgia, squash casserole crab dip is so popular in Maryland that the dish is often called Maryland crab dip. With all its waterways along the Atlantic and Chesapeake Bay, crab in general is a huge deal there. You'd think Marylanders would be experts on their own dip, but it is still the most googled recipe in that state. Fresh crab is ostensibly the way to go with this recipe, but some people opt for frozen or canned crab meat when fresh isn't an option. The crab is primarily mixed with cream cheese, and sometimes mayonnaise, before it is baked and served with crackers and bread. Michigan Goulash over in Michigan they're keeping it simple and googling recipes for goulash. This is a tried and true comfort food that many Americans grew up on, so it makes sense that folks in the Midwest are still trying to make it for themselves. Goulash is a pretty versatile dish that usually includes ground beef, elbow pasta, an assortment of veggies, and cheddar cheese. However, the recipe you use may vary depending on who wrote it and where they came from. Goulash has been in American cookbooks since the early 20th century and the fact that people still crave it today only shows how classic it is. Arizona, Spanish rice as part of the southwestern United States. Arizona also has a strong Mexican influence in its food and culture. One of the most looked up recipes in the 48th state is Spanish rice. Spanish rice is one of the most popular side dishes in Mexican cuisine. It involves browning the rice by sautéing it, then cooking it with tomatoes, spices, and sometimes chicken broth. If you tried to order Spanish rice in Spain, they'd actually have no idea what you're talking about. And though it is a Mexican dish, they don't actually call it Spanish rice either, they refer to it as arroz or arroz rojo. 
Tennessee, hash brown casserole leave it up to Tennessee to have one of the most quintessential southern dishes as their most googled recipe. Hash brown casserole is a tried and true side dish that can show up at any southern function, but it's often seen at funerals which is why its nickname is funeral potatoes. This cheesy dish is simple enough to make. Most recipes call for frozen hash browns, cream of chicken soup, cheddar cheese, sour cream, and of course, the cornflake topping. We guess Tennessee folks were looking for the best dish that is sure to please all.